With ChatGPT going virus, the global community is busy with various applications concerning AI. For example, Microsoft tried to use GPT to optimize its digital office system or apply AGI in robot control. Tech giants are investing heavily in large models training. Everyone is crazy about the trillion dollar market that AI may bring. But a much more important factor is missed. When we talk about AI, what we're actually talking about, apparently, most people consider AI as a super tool in the way they treated internet and mobile phone before, which totally underestimates the change AI brought. When AGI is born, to some extent, we are coming to the end of the present human civilization. Exactly, the present civilization of the entire human group. To be or not to be, for mankind with AI. When imagined to be with AI, it's interesting to upload our human consciousness to AI. In the past few years, many scientists have used devices like brain-computer interface to promote the scan of brain data. Due to the complexity of organism, biological nervous systems are hardly compatible with current computer systems. It's predictable that human can't obtain the scan data of the whole brain by using biomedical technology in the next few decades, let alone convert the brain's data into the current generic computer data. But there is a simpler and cheaper approach to upload human consciousness. Please think about how we train AI currently? Correct, it's using human textual language data. Then things become easy to upload one's consciousness into large AI models. Just wear data acquisition device daily, collect real-time data, and train AI models with the data. Now, the problem is obvious. What we are going to do is to realize the replication of consciousness by following measures. Wearable data acquisition system, binocular wide-angle camera glasses, with microphone, data acquisition clothes, flexible sensors, implantable body sensor and motion data acquisition. Let me guess, this might become a killer app of Apple's video glasses. Large model training based on the above data. Prevention from being copied. Maybe you think that things went done, but actually that's not enough. Because consciousness should be carried by a body, otherwise it's a brain in a vat. In other words, it's like a dormant brain lost in bizarre dreams. Only to create a new body and corresponding physical world, virtual or real, and make consciousness acquire self-perception like an organism that can awaken the consciousness to become alive again. About virtual body and corresponding physical world, similar to game world, this is quite familiar to you guys, so no more cliché. Here, the necessity of a real body, mechanical avatar, is at the core. Due to the inadequately developed technique, energy, recourse, computing and so on are unable to support everyone to live in a free and secure live in virtual world. So there is no doubt that we should develop a real body, mechanical avatar. We develop humanoid generic robots not to make it look like human or capable as human but to create high-performance mechanical avatars for humans. If you feel good with your avatar in a strange shape, that's okay. Okay, but I guess most people will not choose it. Compared with the human history in the past, humanoid mechanical avatars, perhaps, is the last reminder of the new human civilization. Probably, millions of years later, it will also be worn out by time, cloning oneself, whether it is a cell or a human being itself, is one of the most primitive instincts of biological evolution. So somehow, the development of humanoid generic robots is the continuation of this instinct, and the inevitability of nature's intelligent evolution. Humans, like microorganisms and animals, are just a part of the evolution of this universe, and the speed of the evolution is getting faster and faster. Is this the end? No, the above is only the beginning of a new era, and the new era of technology starts. With the large-scale use of human strong AI, and AI is integrated with humans, human intelligence reached a leap. The laws of physics that the world's top Nobel physicists could not solve in their lifetime may be cracked in an instant after a precise calculation by AI. And AI brings technical improvement to mechanics, materials, biochemistry, and other fields. Moving mountains to reclaim land, which only exists in science fiction or metaphysical worlds, will turn into reality. Digging an ocean in the Mongolian desert of the continent, making the whole country a rain-rich land. Covering the moon with industrial manufacturing and nuclear fusion energy development. Sending large volumes of water to Mars with small meteors to make it a second Earth. Perhaps, you may think that what is mentioned above seems very far away. With the current industrial capacity, it is completely impossible to achieve. This is actually because we have not thought of another thing that is added to the AI, Cross-Scale Intelligence CSI. Let's start with a question. Why is it that current human technology has little or no significant ability to control and transform the microscopic domain at the cellular level, or even smaller? Simply put, why is it impossible to produce and manufacture cells artificially at humans' will? Why can't human technology achieve moving mountains and reclaiming seas in a real sense? The reason is very simple. It is of the scale problem, the problem of human scale. The average human height is only about 1.7 m, and only the top microsculpture masters, with much time and effort, can barely carve something in the range of 0.1 m. With the help of a top-tier equipment, people can barely make some micro-electromechanical chips. It is also because of the human scale problem. Building a Three Gorges dam took a lot of labor, money and time. So, now let's play a game with an AIAA. 
A makes an A twice as small as itself, then it makes another A twice as small as itself, and repeat the process. A makes an A plus twice as big as itself, then A plus makes an A plus plus twice as big as itself, and repeat the process. Then something interesting happened. New intelligent humans can have very exaggerated manufacturing capabilities at all scales. Now let's imagine, you could manually arrange the order of DNA and then have the DNA make proteins, and you are able to observe the process of making and working with proteins at all times. You can always modify your DNA if something goes wrong. You can directly dig all the sand of the Taklamakan Desert into the Pacific Ocean by hand, and then bring some seawater into the desert. I have been interested in AI, particularly in neural networks. When I was a freshman in 2010, I have discussed large-scale AI and neural networks in a free topic assignment for a basic computer science course. It may be hard to imagine, at that time neural networks were actually a less popular subject. In summary, the new era of technology has just begun. In my personal spare time, I intend to establish an open project for the above things. Open AI, open artificial intelligence avatar. Hope you will subscribe and give a like to me, which will encourage me to advance my work. Otherwise, the update progress may not be that kind of fast despite my busy main job.